Katia, Blanquita, how are you girls? Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, this is a girl power, girls night. Woo -hoo, I like it. I like it. <laughs> How's your day going? So far, is it good? Yeah, really good. Yeah, really? What did you do today? Uh, well, the first one, I uh, wake up. You woke yeah, up? I guess. Woke up. I woke up to uh, 4 a.m. and 4 then I go. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness, how that is possible. <laughs> because it's a transportation. I mean, I live in Zaragoza. Uh, so, oh, okay. yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. Uh, it's difficult so. to uh, move to the to my workplace. So oh. I need to uh, woke up earlier. Ooh, four o'clock. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I remember uh, my first job that I had was uh, in a call center, of course. I mm. was um, a baggage and reservation agent at that time. But at four o'clock, I was already working. Four o'clock. Wow. Yes, because because I was working for an airline, so we used to work with the Eastern time zone. So four o'clock here in El Salvador, six a.m. there. So can ah, you imagine? So yeah. I guess at what time? At what time the transportation was picking me up? Guess. Guess. Any idea? Mm -hmm. 3.30? Ah, at 3.30, I was already in the cafeteria eating my breakfast. <laughs> ah, come on. No, really? I'm not kidding. At wow. 1.30 a.m. Wow. Yeah. So I can't imagine those days that I will never, never, never take that schedule anymore. Okay, continue. Go ahead. Go ahead. So then, what, what else? What else did you do today? Uh, well, I... I went to my work and I mm -hmm. created a lot of reports, called with contractors, and all day was working after I log out to, to let me see, 3 30. Oh, okay. Yeah. And at what time did you uh, come back home? Um, it was difficult for the transportation, so I wasn't at home or at 5 30. Oh, almost two hours yeah. and a half. Ooh. Yeah, but was, I don't understand what's happening because uh -huh. I mean the, the buses are uh are current. I mean uh -huh. there are a lot of buses, so I don't know. <laughs> but it was difficult. So then I was working in a in a homework on, on the university and then I'm ready to start the classes. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Did you already have a, your your dinner by any chance? yeah yeah ah okay okay yeah yes because Try without energy mm -mm, we do not move forward right like cars right cars need gasoline we need food and like telmita i think telmita is like drinking a cup of coffee or tea i don't know but i was like yes. oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry i i can't oh. invite you <laughs> ah yes of course um so, okay <laughs> uh, you hurt my feelings no no that's okay yeah i know I, i'm coffee holic by heart you know what holic is when you're crazy about something when you like uh, something a lot you you can put holic in this case if you love coffee you are coffee holic if you love coke you are coke holic and so on. you see that so Telmita and I we are coffee holic I think right yes we yeah, love yeah of coffee. course <laughs> For, I me mean, too but you know what there was some times that I couldn't drink coffee due to my health condition um. Oh my gosh, I was like, no way. But recently, um, since my mother passed away, I, I had to, well, my sister who lives in Costa Rica recently arrived and has returned back already to Costa Rica. But she brought me a lot of teas, a lot of really natural teas. Because there in Costa Rica, there is like an Asian people, a big Asian people uh, from, uh, from China, from Japan, from Korea, and so on. So you can find the really fresh products. So you know. So guess what? She brought me. Um, okay, I'm going to say no, no. You don't, you're not going to know that word. So I'm going to say it in Spanish. A uh, bamboo tea. Bamboo. Yeah. You cannot imagine that bamboo tea. Is that possible? Is that exist? 
And she said, yeah. And you know what? Oh my God, it's really delicious. And that helps me. It helps with your, uh, with your lungs. It helps with your um, heart blood pressure, digestion programs, and it's analgesic as well. So if you have a hard time to go to sleep, eat one of those or drink one of those and it's perfectly fine. You know, it tastes really good. I was like, how is going to taste this? But you know what? It's really nice. The color is if you're drinking coffee with milk, the color. The flavor is like um, um, atol de maíz tostado. Yeah, that is the flavor and with sugar. So it was like mm, it, the first the first drink, you feel like, ooh, amazing, right? Since the beginning, since the very beginning. And you feel so relaxed that in my case, in 30 minutes, I was like, can you imagine? It was really delicious, but she brought me only one box. And I was like, mm. so she said the next time she will bring me uh more she brought jasmine tea um rose tea but you can see the little roses like these tiny roses what else what else she said uh, la la lavender lavender tea as well and chamomile tea but you can see the flowers you cannot imagine i like it i must still have some of those because i'm a tea holic as well i just want to share with you Yes, Trace, teacher, why you were talking about that? I don't have any idea, but I just want to share with you. <laughs> you know what? We're going to need to say hi to the rest of the guys because we have uh, Miss Galvez. Uh, we do have also Madeline, Judy, Doris, Fernando. Hey, it is a uh, salutaris, right? Salutaris, what you're drinking? Yeah, yes. Yeah, the regular yes. flavor, the neutral uh... flavor. Neutral, yes, neutral flavor. I like it too. Some people doesn't <laughs> like it, but I do like it. It feels really good in your tummy. Ooh, yeah, it helps with, with digestion. And you know what? It's really refreshing. Yes, it is. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I, sometimes I squeeze uh, some lemon juice, and that is much better. Mm, I prefer only the, the water. Only the water, yeah. I prefer it too. But sometimes because my, my husband doesn't like it a lot, so I just <laughs> squeeze the lemon and he said, mm, that way I think I'm going to drink some. Okay, so he, that's what I do. But I, I prefer that as well. Yes, definitely. It's really refreshing. There you go. Who else we have it here? We have Francisco, Glendy, Mr. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Hey, welcome to the jungle. Sorry, welcome to the class. <laughs> we have good evening we have glendy glendy nice to see you Mita. very good hey we got francisco amadeo video court to chavez we got alexander de jesus hey alex i want to see your face and william alexander oh righty very good there's a lot of guys today oh and erwin yeah mr lagos is joining today's class excellent wow hey guys almost in the middle of the week uh, hey, Alexander, two more days and we finished the first week. Isn't it amazing? <gasps> Don't forget that this class is from Monday to Friday, okay? Don't leave me alone, Friday, <laughs> okay? Yeah, because there's some classes that are from Monday to Thursday, but these classes are from Monday to Friday. Hey, guys, now, do you know, do you remember that I will ask some of you about some information that I would like to know for your daily basic? I already asked Katia, so we're good on that. But let's move on. All righty. Let me double check what I have here. All right. There you go. Hey, can you see my screen, guys? Yep. Can you? Or no? Yes. Yes. yes okay, cool. All right. You go. Ooh, okay. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see if I have somebody else here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no, there you go. Okay, there you go. That's what I have here. Are you ready to play? Yeah, right? Not really, but okay, let's play. <laughs> and, oh, there you go. Okay, so let's spin it. I don't know about you, but it makes me dizzy like this. Definition. All right. 
Uh, Andrés. Oh, Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso, by the way. <laughs> okay, remember, guys, and Andrés, that yesterday we talked about management styles, right? Do you remember that? Yep. We talked about a lot of them. But uh, could you please let me know, or if you re remember, what is um democratic management style? Democratic, when the, the workers can decide, they can give uh, opinions. All right, yeah, very good job, excellent. He has a study, he's like, Phew, I pass. <laughs> Very good job. Amazing job. Give it all five, Andres. Excellent. Good job. Woohoo. All righty. Let's move on, right? Let's move on. Let's go back to business. <laughs> there you go. Let's spin it again. R relative class. All right. Uh huh. Delmita. <sighs> We saw a relative class, right? Uh, we, saw, we, we know, guys, that we have a lot of relative classes, right? Remember that? But we saw one relative class in particular. Which one was it, Talmita? Which relative class we saw yesterday? I know. Okay, you can imagine. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I need more coffee. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, hey, you remember that we used one relative clause to talk about a uh, persons? That relative clause we use it uh, with persons, with animals, with things. Do you remember that one? That one that we use? It just starts with W. Okay. The... Uh -huh. um, the relative word that we you that was using uh-huh which was one we saw? who yeah very good job you see i know you remember yeah. give me the far girl woo -hoo, excellent job yeah very good that's my girl that's telnita yeah very good excellent okay let's move on Management style. Judy. Ay, I knew it, he said. I knew it. Judy, do you remember one of the management style that we saw that we see yesterday? Or that, mm -hmm, that we saw yesterday? No, teacher, I don't Only one of it. them. Only one. Yeah paternalistic very good you see you remember excellent job let's move on definition okay what is the definition of paternalistic management style uh, Fernando <gasps> Well, are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> Paternalistic. Uh huh. Is a, uh, the manager he is concerned about their employees, their team. Uh, are you? Uh -huh. He is. He, he is uh, searching the 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 better for their employees, their their, their team. Where, are you guys uh, agree with uh, Mr. Fernando? Looking for, looking for. He, he's looking for. Yes, you're right. Woohoo! Give me it all, Pfizer. Amazing <laughs> job. Yeah. All right. So let's move on. How you see the teacher always do a recap all day. Let's see what we have here. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Tell me that he's swearing right now. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Definition. All right. Yeah. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. All righty. Like, hey, teacher, I knew it. Yes. 
do me a favor, Alex. I just want if you can help me on this, because really I don't remember. Well, yes, I do, but I would like to see if you can help me with that. And let me double check. <laughs> what is the definition of uh, laissez faire management style? Like, <clears throat> I knew you were about to ask me that question. And yeah. Just what you remember. Yeah. You don't have to like say it like literally, just what you remember. No, actually, I I don't remember anything about it. <gasps> My goodness, what happened to you? You are so young to have Alzheimer. Yeah, I just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I, I I don't know, Rich. Don't worry, that's okay. It's 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 fair to say that I don't know. Don't worry. Can somebody help him? Anybody? I know, I know that everybody wants to participate. I understand that you are so great students, but I just need only one volunteer, nothing else. What about you, Madeline? So whatever they want. Ah, okay. so Miss Galvez, yes, go ahead. I like do whatever they want, if I remember well. Yeah, very good. That's a fair, excellent. Hey, finally, I can listen to you, yeah. It's, that's amazing. I like it. There you go. Very good. Shall we move, move on? Yeah. Shall we move on? All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. There you go. This is, all right. This teacher is really tough. And so, there we go. Management style. Okay. And Doris, do you remember another management style? We have mentioned Les Affaires. We have mentioned paternalistic and democratic. I think we're missing two, right? In autocratic. Autocratic and? Theory X. Uh-huh. Theory J. Uh-huh. Oof. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Very good, girl. Excellent. Oof. Do you see, guys, that we just put in practice everything that we have seen? There you go. Okay, yeah. let's do it. And two more. And then we'll move forward. There you go. Excellent, Doris. Definition. Aha, uh -huh. Francisco Amero Cortez Chavez. What is the definition theory. of theory X? Theory X? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I don't remember this. <laughs> okay, another one is Alexander, huh? That's no, that's okay. Which one do you remember? Do you remember theory Y? Mm. Mm. No, no, the, no? The, the true, no. no. Sorry, I, I, I do not remember. Don't worry, that's okay. That's okay, don't worry. Yeah. I just, no, no, don't, don't worry about it. Okay, let me double check who can help him. I need only one volunteer, only one. When the manager thinks the worker is lazy. Very good. That is a theory X, right? Yes. Very good. What about the Y, Doris? Uh, repeat, please. What about the theory Y? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember that one. <laughs> no, but that's okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good, guys. I, we have more, right? We have more things. But uh, let me ask you something. Since we saw a relative clause who yesterday, right? Remember? Can somebody give me an example? Madeline? I knew it, did you? Oh, hi, teacher. Hey, good night. Good night. Um, nah. <laughs> In this moment, I don't have idea. <laughs> wow. Your friend is like, ah. remember <laughs> who? Yeah. Hey, let's remember the formula. So don't okay. worry about it. Okay. Let's remember the formula. What is the first thing that I put? Uh, the subject. The subject. Very subject. good. Then? The bear. The bird. Uh, re relative clause. Uh huh. And then? And the complement. Very good. <laughs> so, do me. So, st stay with me. Uh huh. Let me double check. 
Alex, give me uh, two sentences. Two sentences that you repeat the subject. And uh, Madeline is, is going to use both sentences and put it into one using the relative clause of who. You can okay. use you can use it related to business. You can use related to your pet, to your teacher, whatever. Don't worry about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. She wants to get a good job. And another is, he's a difficult person, an angry person. Oh, but it has to be the same the same subject. Same subject. Uh, she okay. wants to get a uh, better job, and better she's job. a difficult person. Yeah. OK. Very good. Now, Madeline, use the information and put it into one. A teacher, I have problem with the internet and I didn't un understand what my classmate said. Oh, don't worry. He's so gentleman <laughs> that he's going to repeat the information for you. Can you please, please be so kind to do it, Alexander? Okay. Yeah, I said uh, she, she wants to get a very job and she is a difficult person. Mm-hmm. Ooh. She wants to get a good job. Yeah, yeah. She wants to get a better job, and a she's a difficult. And she's a difficult person. Who is a difficult person? The girl who wants to get a better job. <laughs> I lose. You, you lost. I don't, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> who can help Madeline? Who can help <laughs> Madeline? Don't worry, Madeline. That's okay. Glendy, Freddy, Ms. Galvez? Hey, hi. Hi. Can you, can you use the, the two sentences that Alexander mentioned and put it into one using the relative plus who? Really, I don't understand uh, the, this activity. Ah, I... OK, don't worry. I think you, you, you were not here yesterday, right? Yeah. Ah, OK, that's the reason why. Don't worry. That's OK. That's OK. <laughs> uh, can you give it a try, Kathy? Yeah, I can try. Okay, do your best. Mm, okay. Uh, can you repeat me again, please, Alexander? Sorry, Alexander. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, it's, she wants to get a better job. She's a difficult person. She wants to get uh she wants to get a different job. A better, who, better job. Ah, she wants to get a better job who is difficult person. Ah, uh, not Are really. You, I'm sorry, I'm just <laughs> don't worry. I know. I'm sorry. Or maybe the other teacher. Uh could uh, be. A, she's a difficult person who wants to get a better job. Ah, uh, okay. almost, <laughs> almost close, Madeline. Almost close. <laughs> okay, I have, I have a little idea. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. now you see, you see. Now it's working, right? It's warming up. Your brain is warming up. Very good, very good. So we can said the girl who wants to get a better job is a difficult person. You see? Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I got you. You, you got it. Ooh. Yeah, who? You're not using who? Yes. I You're said the girl who? who wants to get a better job, I said. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. it's, be it's because I said it a little bit faster, Freddy. But that's okay. Don't worry about it. Can you come up with an example, with another example, Freddy? Why did I talk? <laughs> uh, uh, why do you speak? <laughs> don't worry. And now you don't have the excuse that you have a headache. Huh. All right, now I feel no, better. Just teasing you, just teasing you, ready. Hey, hey, teacher, I yes. have only a uh, question. Go ahead, uh, girl. We, we want to, or we can uh, cut the, the sentences. Uh, like you did with the example? Yeah, because, what, for example, who, remember who, is going to substitute, remember what we saw yesterday? Substitute 
I, he, we, the repent depends, right? Which is the subject you're talking about. But who is also help us to join, basically to join the information of the two sentences and to put it into one. If you, if you for example, take a look at, at the Alexander's sentences that he gave it to us, he used the subject twice. He said, she is the person who got, wants to get a better job. She is difficult. The subject was repeated twice, right? She and she. So we have two ideas, but it's not good to repeat the subject twice. We need to do it like, we need to simplify the information and use the relative clause who to put both sentences into one and only use one subject, not two. So that is when relative clauses help us and do their function. You, now you got it? Like when yes, you use yes, which. Exactly, yes. Remember that we're talking about relative classes, we have a lot of them. We have who, we have what, which, when, et cetera, right? But yesterday we focused on the relative clause who. Today we're going to see another relative clause as well, which is kind of similar, but uh, uh, kind of similar, but it, there has something different in particular. And we're about to see that, so don't worry about that. Okay, are we good? Yeah. 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 That's why I do the recap, guys because I want you to understand what we're, what we're seeing in order for you to be able to use it in the future. That's what I want, that you understand. When you understand, you, are, you know what you're doing and you are capable to use it. But if you do not understand, you won't be able to use it, right? So no, no, no. I'm, I'm focusing on quality of knowledge, nor, nor quantity, which is better. Very good, guys. Uh, any questions right now? Any doubts? Please speak now or we'll sip it forever. <laughs> oh my God, I look like nyaka nyaka, right? Mm -hmm. My knees is right. <laughs> All right, very good. Jesse, hi. There you go. Welcome to the class, girl. I'm so Thanks, happy Jess. to have you here. There you go. Guys, yeah. now we're going to move on. But I want to ask you something. Let me double check if I can get your opinion about one in particular things that I want to know. And basically, guys, this is regarding um, a leadership. May I ask you, how would you define leadership? In your own words, what is leadership for you or for you? What is it? Any ideas? For me, is the uh -huh. person who the person who tried to mm -hmm. to get best result in uh, making examples. I mean, it's like like the idiom. I, 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 I'm not really sure it's idiom. Like the action talks more than words. Very, yes, it's an idiom. Yes, very yeah. good, Alex. Very good, yeah. Thank you. What about uh, uh, the rest? Do you think the same of Alex or do you have something else that you would like to share with the class? Okay, first uh -huh, of Sorry? Person with a lot of knowledge. Person with a lot of knowledge, yes. That's true. Has to be, right? Must have a knowledge, yes. Very good job. Excellent. All right. What else, Mr. Irwin Lagos? How will you describe a leadership? What is the definition of leadership? Oh, I think Irwin is is taking a call right now, right? Okay, don't worry about it, Irwin. Um, what about you, um, Doris? What do you think about leadership? Mm, the leadership is a person who encourage her his employees are uh, improve your, their skills very good excellent excellent good job what do you think about it uh, mr giovanni
Giovanni. I think Giovanni stood up and drink a cup of coffee. Uh, sorry, teacher. No, oh, that's okay, Giovanni. I, I have problems with my internet. So oh, okay, okay, I that's okay. Knock the camera. The camera? Okay, that's okay, no mm -hmm. problem. Uh, for me, a leader, uh, leadership is uh, somebody who guides uh, a team. Mm -hmm. a, okay. A person that has uh, has the skills doing that. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, excellent. You have mentioned a lot of important things. And one, uh, one more opinion, Glendy. What do you think about leadership? Uh, for me, uh, is when you take the initiative for something. Excellent. Good job. Everything that you have mentioned, guys, is really important in a person who wants to play the role of leadership. Very good job. Everything that you mentioned is really important. Now, now I want you to share one, one thought. Uh, or yes, or one idea about one person who also talks about that. And it's Mr. Francis Hessenbein. Um, he said, guys, leadership is much less about what you do and much more about who you are. Let me repeat it. Let me repeat it. What he said is leadership is much less about what you do and much more about who you are. Hey, what do you think about that idea? Are you agree? Makes sense. Makes sense, why Alexander? Because um, if, you are, uh, if you are not a good person, you are not going to treat your employees the same way. And you need to take care of your, your employees in order to you, your employees take care of your customer. Uh -huh. That's really good. Uh, talking about, it uh, doesn't matter what kind of um, enterprise you work for, right? Yeah. With a, for a call center, for um, credit card, uh, I don't know, retention or something like that, doesn't matter. Yes, very good, excellent. Uh, are you agree with uh, what Alexander said, Francisco? Yes, teacher. Okay. Do you do you have something else to say about that thought or that quote? Um, I don't know how do you say, but uh -huh. my opinion, my opinion. Yes, my of opinion. course. I think the this person need to have a good co communication with his team because you need to to take a care with some teams mm -hmm. uh, i don't know uh, yes you know facilidad. i don't know how do you say uh, give me that the whole idea give me your whole idea the capability or the, the facility? Yes, the, the, the facility to uh, to explain maybe uh -huh. the different problems Very or resolve. Good. To explain it to resolve, right? Has mm -hmm. to be both, yes. right? Mm -hmm. yes. Very good, excellent. Are you agree with your classmates, guys? Do you want to share something else of what they said? Or no, that's it. Francisco, Telmita, Erwin, I don't know, Blanky, Jesse, William, something else that you want to, to afford or to say about the quote? Just remember, he said, leadership is much less about what you do and much more about who you are. So are you agree with him or no? Raise your hand. Yeah, friend Fernando, what do you? I know that you want to say something. You're like, I, I don't know. Am I saying or am I not saying? Am I saying you're like that? You're like Shakespeare, <laughs> to be or not to be. That's the question. Yeah, what do you think uh, about that? Well, uh, for me, leadership. Uh, maybe you have to to or 
learn the, the ability or born with that because now mm -hmm. all we can be a good leaders mm -hmm. in in some area or maybe that is that isn't for me for example uh -huh. yeah, is it depends you can learn but uh, some some person have the ability uh, from they was a, they were a kid or something like that uh, she likes to be a for example uh, the when uh, a person uh, was a was a child a, a captain or a leader of their their groups or sport teams uh, that is a, a, a that ability is developing with the years uh -huh. and in, in in our in our laboral areas maybe you can uh, how do you say pulir how do you say pulir in english well you can say develop develop you can develop uh -huh. in, in a better way and maybe you can learn a lot of uh, uh, features features and maybe fit your knowledge uh-huh yeah develop you can improve right yes mm -hmm. the skills the skills very good very good thank you so much for your opinion excellent all everything that you have said guys are true that's true now we're going to get into deep today and remember that we're going to develop all the skills i promise right that we're going to develop all the skills today we're going to develop the reading skill which is basically, I'm going to, I'm going to need your help, not only to read the paragraph. I'm going to need your help also to get exactly the, um, the answer for a specific question that I'm going to formulate to you, okay? Regarding what you have read, of course, okay? So I'm gonna share right now my screen with you. And I want, guys, everybody to pay attention because this teacher is going to get crazy today. In what way? Well, I will start asking somebody to start reading for me, but then suddenly I can set a stop and I can say somebody else, please continue. And you need to know where we, where we were, okay? So I just want you to be like 100% focused with me. All righty, so let me move on. <laughs> There you go. Let's see. There you go. Woof. Yes, we have a lot of things to do today. There you go. Okay, so let me share right now my screen. And we're going to work together. Woof, but don't worry. I will put it a little bit bigger, okay? There you go. Can you see it, guys? Yeah? Not yet. <laughs> okay, let me know as soon as you're able to see it on my screen. Oh, okay. Yeah? yeah? Okay, basically, guys, this is a passage about industry business magnet and philanthropist, Mr. J.D. Rockefeller. And I want you, please, to read it for me. So let me start with one of my amazing students, because all of you are amazing. Uh, Giovanni, could you please be so kind to start reading for me? I will let you know when you stop. You can start. John Davidson Rockefeller was, <clears throat> sorry, an American oil industry business magnate and philanthropist. Born in 1839, Rockefeller became an assistant bookkeeper at the age of 16. He worked long hours and delighted. As he later recalled in all the methods and system of the office. Thank you so much. Continue, Glendy. Thank you. Making 50 cents a day, the full salary for these first three months work, works was uh, 50, $50. In this job, Rockefeller report, reportedly said that, the, that his two great ambitions were to make uh, <laughs> 100,000 dollars uh -huh. to three million dollars in 2016 uh -huh. and to live uh, 100 years very good continue please alexander thank you glendy okay um don't tell me that we, you don't I know get where lost. we are <laughs> no Maurice. that's not excuse yeah i was reading at the first 
Sorry. I will kill you, my man. <laughs> what was the last paragraph? Uh huh. Glenn did tell him what was the last paragraph. Uh huh. Glendy, tell, tell Alexander, what was the last thing that you read? 100 years. Okay. Year. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Maurice B. Clark was the first man who Rockefeller partnered pardon, pardon, with for a business opportunity when he was 20. Refining was the business that he focused on his still of oil drilling. Very good. Continue tell me. Thelma. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Standard Oil Company. Okay. I am C in 1870. No, 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 no. What? No, he said oil drilling. You know, the Standard Oil Company. Uh -huh. No, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. But what was the last part that he read? Rockefeller formerly film. Uh -huh. That's the one. That's the one. Yes. Okay. Henry Pfeffer. Is this? No. No. Rockefeller. No. Don't worry. Take your time. Ah, Rockefeller formerly Rock. founded the Standard Oil Company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. ILC good. In 1816, uh, Henry Flower and Samuel Andrews are some of the people that Rockefeller partnered with to run the Standard Oil Company. Yeah. Uh -huh. Continue. INC. ANC until 1897, he became the richest person in the USA. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Good try, guys. Good try. I'm proud of you. Very good. May I ask you any new vocabulary that you don't know what does it mean before moving on? Which one? Uh, Which paragraph? The last paragraph. Ah, the last one. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, where, 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 where? Uh -huh. What is the pronunciation part? Nerd. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'm Pardon. going to talk about that. Okay, let's focus on the pronunciation first. Partner. 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 Yes, very good. What else? Drilling. Philanthropist. Gardener. Philanthropist. Philanthropist. Delighted. That one, that one Repeat after it. me. Delighted. 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 Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to give you the, the definition. Uh huh. Delighted. Delighted. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. This one, one thousand million, one thousand dollars, one thousand dollars, one thousand dollars. One thousand dollars, right? Ah, I was double checking. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, this one, eighteen seventy. Eighteen seventy. Eighteen seventy. You can said two thousand sixteen. Or 2016, either or. But I prefer 2016. 19, 1897. Okay, repeat after me. Found it. 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 Richest. 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 Remember, richest. Richest. This richest. is a superlative, guys. A superlative. Mm -hmm. Partner. Partner. Drilling. 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 1870. 1870. 1870. 1870. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. 
Delighted. How you pronounce this one? One hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to ask you something, and we're going to put in practice, guys, one of the reading skills. Uh, I'm going to do just this one right now because before I give it to you the definition of delighted, because guys, um, when we read, depends on the, uh, what type of topic we're, we're reading, we're not going to know all the vocabulary. Why? Because there will be a lot of topic we don't know. For example, Katia, for example, maybe Katia knows something related to uh, retention, for example but she doesn't know anything about accounting. And maybe tell my yes, right? You have the vocabulary and so on. So sometimes guys, we're going to face to article like the one that we're reading right now, when we're not going to know all the vocabulary, but the biggest mistake that you can face it is that stop there, stop when you face, when you found a, a word that you don't know what does it mean, and then you start searching that in the vocabulary. And when you already have the definition, you said, okay, what I was reading, where do I left? And then what you have to do, you need to start all over again, okay? And that is what you normally do, but I will teach you how to avoid that. It's going to help you guys, not only for this class, but also will help you in your daily basis because all of you need to read, right? Some uh, theoretical materials, right? Related to what you do. And I think some of you in the future are going to apply for the TOEIC or the TOEFL, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So you will need to develop the reading skill from now on. So guys, sometimes when we don't know what is the meaning of one word, Please don't stop, don't stop. Continue reading because most of the time when we uh, finish the whole idea, we will get based, maybe not exactly the right definition, but at least the idea about what these um, word might mean. Let's do, let's do some practice. Let's do, let's read from here to here which is basically the first paragraph, okay? But what is exactly the definition that you would like to know? Delighted, Delighted, right? Delighted, okay. For us to get a better idea what this word might mean, we need to, to read the whole context. That means the words before uh, delighted, which is from here, John, until ours, and the words after delighted. So that will help us identify or at least understand a little bit what delighted could mean. So do me a favor. Um, Fredis, can you please be so kind to read for me the first paragraph? Starting from John until of the office, please, if you don't mind. Okay. John, Dave, John Davison Rockefeller was an American oil industry business. Many, uh, yeah, you can do it. I met it and philanthropist born in 1839, Rockefeller became an assistant bookkeeper at the age of 16. He worked long hours and delighted as the later recalled, as he later recalled in all the methods and system of the office. Okay, very good. Guys, according to what you, your coworker had read, be careful with the intonation, respect, punctuation, and all those stuff, because that will help us a lot as well to understand what we are talking about. What do you think delighted is meaning? He said he worked long hours and delighted, as he later recalled, in all the methods and systems of the office. So what do you think delighted might mean? Any ideas? Mm -hmm. He he was uh, happy uh -huh. for a worker. Uh -huh. for okay, what else? 
Very good, very good, Doris. Excellent. Any other idea, guys? Satisfaction. Mm -hmm. He worked long hours and delighted. Do you think delight is a positive or a negative adjective? What do you think, guys? Positive. Positive. Yes, it is. And you know what? Doris is right. Delighted. Delighted is another is is a is how if you can say he pleased or he was glad or he was happy or joyful about what Surprise. he was doing. Yeah. So that means that he he liked it, what he was doing. He enjoyed it. That is what is delighted about. It's like encantado. Exactly. Very good, Talmita. Exactly. There you go. So you see how we can, uh, even though we don't know the definition, the exact definition of a world, do you, do you, can, do you see that you can get at least the idea what that word might mean when reading the whole context, words before and after the, the, the exactly the word that we would like to find out the definition. So guys, this is one of the tip that I'm giving you about reading skill, because when you're doing the TOEFL or the TOEIC, you will have time. You will have time and you will need to start reading and comprehend what you are read because they will ask you for a bunch of questions after the article. And TOEIC reading part, I had to let you know that it's basically regular topics like this. But TOEFL, it is more academic topics, uh, aeronautic, um, laws, medicine, etc. So we're not going to know a lot of the words, right? So we need to learn how to catch the ideas. One of the things, guys, uh, let me start um, basically sh sharing, uh, stop sharing right now for a moment. One of the tips that I will give it to you is that um, in most of the articles, uh, the author gives his opinion in the first paragraph. And the reasons about what he thinks like this way or another way, it will be in the other paragraph. So that is really important and I will give you the tip. First paragraph, the author says why he thinks like that way. No, what he thinks about a specific topic. And in the last three, give us the reasons why he thinks like that way. For example, let's talk about tattoos. Okay, let's pretend that Fernando is the auditor of tattoos. I, I'm, no, I'm just kidding, okay, it's, a, it's an example. Okay, in the first paragraph, he says, I'm agree or I'm not agree. That's what he said. And then in the last three, he gave us the reason why he thinks like that way. So that's why we're doing this kind of exercises because it's going to help you not only on this class, but also in your daily basis, especially when you need to make a report, right? That is really, really important. All right, so let me ask you some questions. I'm going to give you like information right now and I want you to work in pairs, okay? Because we're going to practice reading comprehension right now related to what we have um, also seen and read. Guys, do you have any questions so far? Please, I don't bite. I don't. Promise. No? Are you sure? 100% sure about that? Okay. All right. That's cool. Excellent. All right, so let me share right now the, the information that I want you guys to basically um, complete the information. But I'm going to share also with you guys the, the article because you will need the article as well. So just allow me a couple of minutes more. We're almost finished right now. I'm going to give it to you the article and I want you to work in pairs related this so bear with me there you go you want to work with somebody specifically or not really you can ask no huh? okay so i should i choose the, the democratically yes okay cool we are 
17 with me. So that means that we are 16. It has to be a group of six, right? No, a group of two. There you go. The, the, hey guys, before I let you go, did you receive the information that I just sent through WhatsApp? Can you check it out for me? Yeah, cool, excellent. Yes, teacher. All righty, yes, there you go. Teacher. Let's move on. Accept that invitation, please. Oh, we have only two minutes, that's enough. Can you send me again the invitation, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, you didn't get it, uh, Glendy? No? No. Oops. Okay. Don't worry. Let me let me send it to you. Oh, no, yes. Or no. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. No. Don't worry. Okay. I sent it already. Judy, I think Judy, we're missing Judy. There you go. We got, all right, we have two, two. Judy's missing. Francisco, Fernando, Andres, and Doris, Jesse. All right, there we go. Okay, Jesse and Glenda. Hey, hello. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah? All right, very good. Any questions related of the exercise that we are doing right now? Uh, I think we have to use uh, who, right? In that conversation or? Ah, read the instructions. What does the instruction says? <laughs> Look at the, the passage above again and complete the sentence. Uh -huh. So okay. you said Rockefeller reporter said, so uh -huh. you have to basically um, put the information that is missing there. Don't use who. No yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Everything okay, Miss Galvis? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Did you finish? Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Remember, you don't have to put who. You have to find the missing information. Okay, awesome, very good. Let's double check with the other guys. Woohoo! Have said mm. uh, Rockefeller report is said uh, his two great ambitions were to make one hundred thousand dollars. Uh huh. Very good. So all that you have to do is like basically uh, fill the missing information that is in the sentences. Only the blank space. Yes, only the blank space. It doesn't mean that it's going to be a small information, right? You have to complete the information that is missing there. Okay. Is that, uh, do you understand? You is it clear, guys? Yes. Uh, for example, they, they, they in the sentences uh -huh. uh, they have uh, puntos suspensivos. How do you say? Uh, consecutive, consecutives. Uh, consecutives. So we have to complete uh, all the sentence, or only, for example, in, in complete that a sentence, paragraph. Yes, uh, that that uh -huh. sentence. Uh, yes. Is only that. Only that is the word in the blank space. But we have uh -huh. to complete all the sentences to make sense. Yes, exactly. That's what I want. Okay. Very good. Uh, so you're finished number one or you already finished all of them? No. Uh, number one only. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Should I give you more time, guys? Yeah? Okay. Okay. All right. Let me double check with the other guys and then I'll return it back to you. Okay? Continue working. You're doing really fine. Okay. Where to make... Okay. Is everything okay? Do you have any doubts, any questions related to the exercises? Blackie or Alex, we're doing good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm working. Excellent job, very good. And it, you have to complete the ideas, okay? You yeah, need yeah. to find that idea on the paragraph. Excellent. There you go.
Okay, the first one. What happened, Francisco? Hello, teacher. Hello, where were Can you? Can you help me, please? Yes, what happened? Uh, I don't know, uh, only, only me? Only you. Yes, only in this bag. you. Yeah, it's really weird because you were supposed to be with somebody else. Oh, okay. But don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to move somebody here. Hopefully, Katia is going to arrive here. I think we had a problem, I, right, with the, yes, the connection. That, uh -huh. is, yes, yes, yes. Don't worry. Hopefully, she will appear in a couple of minutes because I already um, sent her the invitation to join this, um, okay, this group. But did Thank you understand you. Uh, basically um, the exercise, Francisco? Yes. Yeah? Did you finish already? Uh, no? I, no. <laughs> no, no. Thank you so but, much for being sincere. Yes. Okay, thank you. I don't know if you came to meeting with uh, Unirme. Have yeah, to join. With Freddy. With Freddy? Yes. Ah, Freddy's with don't Madeline, know. but don't worry. I can join you. Ah, maybe she lost the his connection with internet because the ah, the screen okay. uh -huh. uh, it was frozen okay there you go how oh, three right there you go yeah you know what thank you so Fran much you're welcome uh, Freddy is Francisco said Teacher, I miss Freddy's. Can you please join me with him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they, yeah, that's what, um, yeah, 100% sure that he said that. It's because uh, basically you are a really good friend. That's what he said. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He was jealous about meddling. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Hey, guys, how is everything going? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. 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 Or no? We finished. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> so speedy Gonzalez here. All righty. So in this case, let's move on, right? There you go. Okay. Uh, let me double check. I'm going to let them know that we need to come back. Come okay. back to main screen. There you go. Baby, come back. Oh my God. You know, I don't know if you notice, know guys, but I love music. So I love, I, yeah. love, I know a lot of topics. Related to and any that's... any word that I come to my mind. All right, so let's just stop right now and let's come back together, okay? We are together. Yeah, together and ever. Very good. How was the experience? How was the exercise, guys? Was it good? Was it interesting? Yeah. It was not easy, right? Because it's not just filling the blanks. You need to find the information on the article. But tell me something. Number one, the Rockefeller reportedly said, in which paragraph did you find the information? Which one? Which paragraph? Uh-huh. Second. The second paragraph. Second. Okay. Second. Can you give me the whole idea about including the information that is missing? Rockefeller reportedly said, his two great ambitions were. Can you please complete that idea for me, uh, Francisco? Oh, Fernando, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, can you please, can you please complete the idea for the first sentence? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, reportedly said that is the, in the blank space is that. Uh, uh -huh. And, and the, uh, after where? To make uh, one hundred thousand dollars and to to live one hundred years. Very good, excellent, good job, guys. Are you agree with Fernando? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool, Mr. Wira Alexander yes. Ramirez. What about number two? What do you have for us? Okay, Mauricio B. Clark was the first man. Mm. Uh huh who Rockefeller uh, partnered with for a business opportunity when he was 20. Oh my God, excellent job, my man. Give me job five. Woohoo! Excellent, amazing job. Great job. Very good. And last but not least, Blanky, what about number three? 
What do you have for us? Okay, number three. Yes, ma'am. Refining was the business that he focused. That is the word that in the blank, that it's in the blank, yeah. that he focused on instead of oil drilling. Very good. That he focus on, remember? Focus on. Focus on. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Oh my God. You are such amazing, guys. You are such amazing. Excellent job. Was it easy? Yeah? All righty. This is the first time that you pressed it, those, those kind of reading exercises? No? This is the first time that you practice this kind of exercise? Or no? No. Oh, oh. yes or no? No. no. Yes, okay, cool. yes no. for some of you and no for oh, oh, another. Okay, that's okay. That is one way, but we have a lot of them. Uh, this one, we practice today reading comprehension. However, next article, we're going to practice scanning and we're going to practice skimming. There's a difference. Have you, released, have, you, have you used that word or have you heard those words before? Scanning and skimming? Yes. Yes? You know the difference, Madeline? Uh, scanning, maybe uh, when you uh, check the or when you see the paragraph uh, but uh, you recognize uh or when you remember the that the things that you read may i i don't i don't remember well the meaning but i have a, a little idea ah yeah you have an idea yes exactly very good it's part of it but you're right a scamming is, have you gone to the supermarket? Of course, right? All of you go to the supermarket to buy groceries. So do you remember that when you're in the cashier, they pass the article to the scan? Click, click, right? With a barcode, right? Okay, so it's like a quick view. Scanning in reading is quick view. Okay? And a scheming is different. A scheming, you don't have to read the whole article. For example, I ask you a question related to the article and you have to find the answer for me quickly, like that, without reading the whole paragraph. That is another, another ability that you're going to develop, okay? So don't worry about that. But that is the difference. There you go. Okay, guys, let's move on. So I think somebody is sleeping. Ale William, are you sleeping? No. Tell me the truth. Are you sure? Normal face. Normal face. Normal face. Oh my God. All right, normal face. <laughs> okay. No, teacher, the teacher is bad sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. All righty. Very good. Mm, okay, let's warm it up a little bit. Okay. I know that we, hey guys, we already passed the first hour. Can you imagine? That's amazing, right? I didn't feel it. I don't know about you, but I didn't feel it. Okay, so let's do some mimic. Okay, let's play. Let's play and warm it up a little bit. Okay, so let's stress out. Okay, um, have you already um, played? What's the name of this game? Uh, no. Have you already played mimic? No. No. Uh, no. Are you good in mimic? Not really, right? <laughs> I think only Jesse says, look at Blanky. Blanky is like, mm, not really. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, let's play another game. Ah, let's play Scrabble once again, okay? Let's play the Scrabble. But let's put some category. Let's put some category. Um which one will be a challenge mm -hmm. singers okay singers singers okay. and actresses and actors okay let's put it like this way okay so let's start saying one word and then uh 
I'm go you're going to choose who's going to continue, okay? So please, yes, Fernando, yes, warm it up a little bit because this is about to get excited. Okay, remember, singers, actors, and actresses, okay? We're going to cover three categories. Are you guys ready? Erwin, are you ready? Yes? Okay. <laughs> All righty, where you go? I, I, remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, but you said, are you ready? I don't know the name, the song, that the, are you ready in the United States? I don't remember the, the Are name. you ready for this? Dun, 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 uh, yes, I don't you remember what, that. Which is the name? Which is the name? I, you know what? I don't remember. <laughs> yes, but, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I remember the songs and I start singing, but I, I forgot or the name of the songs or the person who sings. Yes. Yeah. I, try, I, 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 I try to remember the name of the song, but I can do it. Don't worry, don't worry. You will remember later on. That happens to me. <laughs> and then I was, and then in a moment, like, ah, and my husband said, what, what happened? Now I will remember. But like <laughs> two hours ago, or maybe like a day before. So that happens to me, Erwin. All right, so let's start. Let's start. Are you guys ready? Hey, yes, be night like faster, right? Because if you do not answer, if you forget, you lose, remember? Okay, so let's start. Um, Whitney Houston, Fernando, ends, the, the word ends with N as in November. Yeah. Whitney Houston. Uh, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman, the end, right? Okay, choose another one. Who who you want to answer? Choose another classmate. William, wake up. Oy, William, sorry, with an N. N. Uh, uh -huh. You can say the name of an actor, actress, or a singer. Or group, it counts. And sing. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> that was, yeah, Black is like, yeah, man. All right. <laughs> okay. So the word is start, uh, last with C. Who you want to answer? Continue. William, who? Pick another okay. classmate. Uh, Blanca, Stephanie. Blanky. Okay, Blanky. Hey, Christina Aguilera. Yeah, with an A. Okay, who wants to continue, Blanky? Um, Freddy. Freddy. Okay, Freddy. We have to choose a word, right? Yeah, a, a singer, an, an actress, a. or an actress with an A. An uh -huh. actress, oh, oh man. Yes, that so is a category. Animals, insects. <laughs> Come on, no, only singer, actress, or actors, or or groups that counts. Hmm. One, two, two. three, <laughs> four, five. I don't know. Uh -huh. All righty. Yeah. Okay. Aerosmith. So, what? Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Yeah. Okay. Aerosmith. So that ends with T. Who you want to continue, Blanky? Okay. Uh, we're gonna choose Glenda. Glendy. Oh my God, Glendy. With T. With T. Uh, Jimmy Barton. All right, very good. Exactly. Yes, that is sad. Uh, I think he's a director, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that counts. Okay, who you want to continue? With uh, letter B. No, I mean who you want to uh, to answer? Which classmate? Pick another classmate. Um. Wait. Um. Katia. Katia. Okay, Katy. With letter okay. B. With letter B. B. Mm -hmm, for boy. Um, e. E. I can be music, artist, or program. Can, or singer, or actor. actor uh, B. Brad Pitt. Hey, Brad Pitt. Ah, come on, <laughs> with T, okay, <laughs> all right. So with T, who you want to continue? Kathy? Uh, Galvez. Oh my God. So Miss Galvez, all right. Miss Galvez. 
young person. What? Yes. What? Yes. Yes. A, an actor, an actress, a band, a group, singer. Um, with tea, with tea as in tomato. With tea, it's so difficult. No, it's not difficult. <laughs> um, it, it, it could, it, it's not only American, it could Tom be Cruise. Mexican, Spanish, Colombian, I don't know. Yeah, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Okay, <laughs> with E as in echo, who you want to continue? Miss Galvez? Uh -huh. Andres. Andres. Okay, Andres. Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. All right, with a Y, yes, in Jojo. Who you want to continue, Andres? Judy. Judy. Okay, Judy. Hey, Judy. Sorry, dear. Sorry, sir. Uh, we cannot listen to you. Sorry. Uh -huh, very good. Jojo, ma. Jo huh? mm -hmm. What's the name of that dude? It's a Japanese uh, ah. that play. Okay, Jojo Ma. Is, uh, the mm -hmm. last uh, word is A. How's in Apple? Mm, yes. Okay, who you want to continue, Judy? Let me see. I like your background, my William. I like it. Beach. Ooh, so relax it. Yeah. Maybe. Let me see, Jessica. Jessica, okay. Oops. With A. Uh -huh, with A. Alaska. A what? Yes, it's a singer. It's a Spanish singer. Ah, okay. Agatha, you said. Alaska. Ah, okay. All righty. Who you want to continue? Um, we have Alexander de Jesus. We have Mr. Irwin. We have Madeline. We have Fernando. Francisco. Francisco, okay, Francisco, with an A, right? Arjona. Ay, Arjona, with an A, very good. Who you want to continue? Frank? William. Your, what? William, okay, William, yes. with an A. Oh, no, but we didn't already participate. No, wait. Yeah. 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 Pick another one. He said, yes, I'm agree with you, teacher. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm Francisco. Hey, that maybe is. Alex, okay, Alexander, did you choose? It's your turn. With a. With an A, as in Apple. Mm -hmm. Ava, <laughs> oh, Ava. Ava, okay, Ava, very good, Ava. Very good, okay, so who you want to continue? Uh, Madeline. Madeline, go ahead, Madeline, with A. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande, with E. Okay, continue, Fernando. With an E. With E? Uh-huh. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Yes, one of the greatest one, the queen. All righty, continue, Doris. Eddie Murphy with Y, right? Y. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, con J. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a Mexican singer with blonde hair. Jury. Yeah, uh, you see, I told you. And it, it, it's not jury that are your classmates, right? No. It is yeah. a singer, yes. Yeah. It's married coincidence of uh, similar names, but it's not the same. Okay, so, and in that, the last one, who is not pretty, oh, Mr. Irwin, yes. Uh, Mr. Irwin, um, a singer, a band, an actor, an actress with Y. With Y? Yes, with Y, as in Jojo. Actor. Yeah, possible. actor. No, of course, it is not possible. <laughs> I have a problem because I don't remember. Any, mm. any, an actor, any... an actress, a singer, a group, a band. With why? Yeah, with why? Teacher, I don't know. No, it's, it's not my so fault. Teacher... It's not my fault. It's Doris' fault. <laughs> <laughs> Help Give me Mr. Kirby, oh, 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 please. This is with why? I don't you. remember. I don't. I don't know, teacher. Maybe I don't know. I I will find in Google. <laughs> and, and, oh no! Wait, Google doesn't know everything, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, help, Mr. Okay. Irwin. Help him, Talita. What? 
okay yeah that's good but he didn't know so it was with a right tell me that the last one somebody with the singer uh, actress an actor a band with letter a as in alpha antonio banderas antonio banderas very good oh my god excellent it was hard right it was harder than the first time because when we put already a categories, it's like close the circle, right? Close the options. So that helped us guys to improve our vocabulary. Tomorrow we're going to have so much fun and we're going to choose more difficult categories, okay? All righty, so let's continue, let's move on. We're about to finish. We almost have 40 minutes left. Okay guys, so are you awake already? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Hey guys, if you drink, if you need to drink a cup of coffee or a, uh, I don't know, a salutaris, a water, yeah, you can do it, okay? Don't worry, it's okay for me. It's okay, I understand that. And I understand that it's too late. Don't worry about it. Okay, so let's move on, guys. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. All right, so now I remember I remember that I think it was with um, with who? Ah, yes, mm -hmm. with Mr. Irwin. I remember that Irwin mentioned a another relative class right yesterday, and he said, "Teacher, can we use that?" Remember Irwin that you mentioned that yesterday? Yeah, and yes, we can use it today, guys. We're going to a. Uh, also learn a little bit explanation about the relative cause which that we can also use with a person. But you know what? It sometimes is similar to who, but sometimes it's not. So I want you guys to please pay attention on that because we're going to do another exercises. Um, have you used the, which, the relative clause that, guys? Have you used it? Do you use it frequently? Yeah? You, you know that it could, that is a difference between who and that? Do you know the difference? Yeah, Kathy, what is the difference? Can you please tell us? Well, the difference, I mean, I use the, the meaning. I mean, who mm -hmm. is can and that is que. Like, uh -huh. a un, we can use to un, uh, unir, mm -hmm. union to, to ideas, to phrases, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh huh. Okay. Very good. Any other ref uh, any other idea? Good. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, me, uh, you said that uh, who we use when we talk about person and that when we that we use when in things. Uh huh. And animals. Mm -hmm. And ideas. Mm hmm very good okay yes exactly any other any other idea guys well this pronoun is uh uh we can apply uh, not also when you refer to the people or but only things uh -huh. right and you can use uh, um, change um, change the word who uh, uh -huh. or like a wish if the, it's depend the concept the sentence mm -hmm. yeah very good excellent yeah do you have you have an idea Yes, very good. So basically I'm going, and thank you so much for sharing. I'm going to share right now my screen with you and we're going to learn some information about it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, can you see it guys? Yeah? What about now? Much better, right? Much better? Okay, cool. All right. Okay, we're going to learn another um, relative class, which in this case is that that Kathy already explained that means K, right? K. 
Okay. Take a look at this one, guys. When the relative pronoun is the objects of the def defining relative clause is usually omitted. Take a look at these ones. Take a look at this sentence. That means that we can use it or we cannot use it if the pronoun, if the pronoun is the object, not the subject, the object. What is the object? The object is the one who receives the action, right? Not the subject. Okay, so when the pronoun is the object, you can omit it. I'm going, would you let me to explain it in Spanish or it's okay? Explain in Spanish, please. Please. Oh my God. Hey, take a deep breath. <laughs> because I told you guys that I don't have a good Spanish. <laughs> but I will try to do my best. Okay. So please, uh, no, William, don't laugh. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Teacher, but try, teacher, try. It. Yes. It's thank you, Frankie. Why you don't have a good Spanish? <laughs> what, Fran Francisco? Or oh, Freddy? Yeah. Why you don't have a good Spanish? And uh, well, because I do not speak Spanish so frequently. <laughs> I only speak English most of the time. Actually, you know what? I can let you know that uh, I listen both um, languages since I was three years old. So since three years old, I've been like Spanish, English, English, Spanish. But most of my people that I related to, work that I related to has been with English most of the time. So all your family speak English too? Oh yes, of course. Okay. So don't, but don't worry, I will try to do my best, okay? Mm -hmm. Like if you said in Spanish, rebobinar el cassette, yeah? Okay, cool. Entendiste, right? Yeah, I see. Espero que lo haya dicho bien. All right. Um, bueno, uh, so, vamos a explicar esto. Um, a relative clause that lo vamos a utilizar también, pero el relative clause that tiene una particularidad que lo puedes usar para unir las dos ideas o puedes no usarlo y no cambia el significado de la sentence. Pero si el, cuando el relative pronoun es el objeto de el relative class. Y vamos a poner un ejemplo. Vean ahorita la, lo que acabo de subrayar con anaranjado y vean esto. Vamos a ver, aquí hay dos ideas, ¿verdad? Dice, he's the lawyer, the manager met at the meeting. Dice, él es el abogado que el manager o el gerente, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Met. ¿Qué es Metz en español? Gra gracias, muy amable, muchas gracias. Conoció en la reunión. ¿Es correcto? Bien. Yeah. Ok. Eso es con that. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Sí. sí. Ahora bien, yo puedo perfectamente decir lo mismo sin usar el that y no voy a cambiar el significado. Por ejemplo, dice, él es el manager él es el abogado, eh, el supervisor conoció en la reunión. ¿Sí? No se puede. ¿Se sí, puede o no se puede? Se escucha raro. Sí, en español, sí. Of course. En español se escucha raro. Pero veámoslo en inglés. He's the lawyer that the manager met at the meeting. Right? We're good at that. Let's say it in English. He's the lawyer the manager met at the meeting. Sounds I didn't better. use that. I didn't use that on the second one. But do I mean the same? Yeah. Yeah, right? So on the first time, I can use that or I cannot use that. But when the relative pronoun is the object, porque también puede ser el subject. Y cuando es subject, no lo puedo cambiar. Pero cu cuando es object, sí. Y la mayoría de veces, cuando es object, aunque esté hablando de alguien, porque estoy hablando de un lawyer, ¿verdad? Es una persona, ¿no es cierto? Entonces, si es un object, guys, 
voy a utilizar that. Pero cuando el relative pronouns haga la función de un subject, no de un object, voy a utilizar normalmente who. Y aquí sí no puedo omit omitirlo. Por ejemplo, veámoslo, leámoslo con who y leámoslo sin who. Decimos, he is the lawyer who signed the contract. Él es el abogado que firmó el contrato, ¿no es cierto? Ok. He is the lawyer. Sign the contract. Can I say that? No. Is the lawyer signed the contract? Sing who? Maybe if you're forcing someone. Uh, if you're forcing. No, I'm a god. Come on, Freddy's. <laughs> no, but I mean, <laughs> but I mean, uh, logically, if you say, say, if you say that, he is a lawyer signed the contract. Does no. that make sense? No. I need the who, right? Yeah. I need a who who makes sense and logic. So in this case, if you see this part, which is the relative pronoun, in this case, he, right? It is the subject. It is the subject of the clause. So I cannot, I cannot submit or uh, basically omit the pronoun. I need to use who so it can make sense. It can make logic. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yeah. Yeah. And guys, al igual que who, that podemos utilizarlo con personas y también con cosas. Con las dos. O en este caso, yes, con personas o con cosas. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Porque yo veo ahí a Mr. Freddy's que tiene un gran question mark aquí. Question yeah. mark es un signo de pregunta. Freddy's, no te veo muy convencido. I'll get it. <laughs> you get it? Oh no. Don't worry, I'll get it. Don't worry. No, ¿sabes lo que voy a hacer? Porque sé que es un poquito confuso. Especially when we're trying to translate it into Spanish, right? Sí. No te preocupes. Ahorita les, vamos, les voy a mandar una información extra que les va a ayudar muchísimo a esclarecer, especialmente porque las reglas de inglés son bastante, sometimes they are a little ambiguas, right? Y no son así como casi iguales que en español, no lo son, de hecho no lo son. Pero lo que te quiero decir es que cuando, por ejemplo, el objeto de, de la sentence, el pronoun, que en este caso sería he, ¿verdad? En este caso sería he, es eh, prácticamente hace la función de objeto del relative clause, que en este caso es that, porque es el que estamos viendo, entonces tú puedes o bien omitir el that o bien usarlo, depende de lo que tú quieras, usarlo o no When usarlo. When is the person? Excuse me? When is the person? Ajá, exacto. Pero, si por ejemplo, el relative pronoun, que en este caso sería he o the lawyer o lo que tú quieras usar por ley, es el sujeto o del relative pronoun, del relative clause, perdón, no puedes omitirlo. Tienes que usar el relative clause, en este caso, who, para que haya una lógica en la sentence. ¿Me entiendes un poquitico mejor? Yeah. Erwin, yo creo que está sudando. I ¿No? try to understand. Sí, yo sé que es un poquito yes. difícil. No te preocupes. Because, because I remember that who you will use with the bear. Who is con quien? Who is sí, quien? No, no, who, who, who. Uh -huh. After who, you will use the bear. Uh -huh. Who is a quien? Who ah, sí, sí, sí. Yes. Who, bear. Okay. That is a, with a name. After the that is name. Ah, ajá. Ya te yeah, I, rem la cosa. I remember that many years ago, but I think that 30 years ago, yeah? no, more, 32 <laughs> no, no, years no, ago. No, 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 I, no, you're still yes, young. I studied, I studied English grammar and 32 years ago, okay? Oof. Oops. 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 Uh, yesterday, yes. we can say yesterday. <laughs> okay. Don't but, worry, don't worry. I understand, okay. especially guys, because in English, there's, there's not only one way to use things. 
we have many th many ways to use the same thing. So that's why uh, it's a little bit confused, especially because in Spanish, we only have one way to say things. But English, no. English, we have many ways to say exactly the same thing. So that's what it gets confused. But don't worry, I will, after this class, I'm going to send it to you some extra information that will help you a lot about who and that, okay? Don't worry about that, okay? Uh, 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 let me double check right now. Let's move on. But before we do that right now, let's practice some exercises. Okay, let's do it together. Let's do it together. Read the first sentence. Freddie, could you please be so kind to read for me the first sentence, if you don't mind? Number one. Yes, please. These are the documents that I sent for, re for review last week. Very good. Mm -hmm. May I ask you, in that particular sentence, I need, I must need that, or I can submit it? What do you think? You can submit as, it. As far as I know, uh -huh. can, be, can be submitted. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so let's say exactly the same sentence but without that, can you please repeat it, Freddie? These are the documents I sent for review last week. Mm -hmm. So now tell me, when you use that and when you omit it, the meaning of the sentence changes? No. No. No, right? No. Oh. Very good. Okay, so let's move on with the second one. Uh, Kathy, number two, please. Yeah, okay. The specialist that you recommended were excellent? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, think about it. Can we use that? Can we omit it? Or can we use who? I don't know. Which one do you think? Is who or that? For me, it's who. Why, Doris? Uh, the, it's a... Uh, um, the person uh, talking about the person. Uh -huh. Yes, that's why you got to double check right now if the relative pronoun, which in this case is the specialist, we can say they, right? They, we can associate to that. Are subjects or are objects of the relative class? So subject. This, subject. So in this case, yes, Doris is correct. You must put the word who here. Very good, excellent. Don't worry, don't worry. We just continue. We just do an extra information. Um, Erwin, can you please read a number three for me? Three for me, okay. Uh -huh. When is the when is the meeting that the boss is good. Very good, you use that. Yeah. Excellent, That's, excellent yeah. job. So may because I ask it's a, you? It's an it's a, it's a object, okay? It's a uh -huh. object. Uh-huh, exactly. You, object, you can use it, you will use it, that. Aha. Uh -huh. but now but do me a favor. So that is, is a, is a food. Exacto, but now do me a favor. Can you please read again the question without that? When in the meeting, that the most question. And without that is when in the meeting, the most question. Uh, very good. May I ask you now, Erwin, does the meaning of the question changes or not? No change. No, right? So no. I can use that or I can admit it. Yes, and can. I do not change the meaning. Yes. Very it's good. No change. Excellent. Let's move on. Number four. And uh, let me double check who can help me. Fernando, number four. Okay. Uh, I met a lawyer uh, who you may want to add to your contact list. Very good, excellent. There you go. Can I uh, can I omit the who? No. No. no right. Very it's good. Personal. Excellent. What about number five? Uh, Kenya. Number five, please. There is a building that we could use to expand our business. Aha, uh -huh, very good. 
So in this particular one, can I use, I need to use that or I can omit it? Mm, we can omit it. Can you please read it without using that? There is a building we can use to expand our business. Very good. Do, do we change the meaning of the sentence? No. 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 Very good. And last but not least, Miss Telma, Clotilde Peña Martins. Can you please read it the last sentence for me? Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Who <laughs> were the colleagues? Colleagues? Colleague, colleagues, yes. Who you were talking to? Aha, uh -huh, very good. Who were the colleagues you were talking to? Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Look at this, because this question is tricky. You could this, admit it, right? Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. This question is tricky because I'm using this is a WH question, right? Yeah, because well. we're starting with who. Okay, yeah. so in this particular sentence or question, do we must use who or we can we have to use that? That you can that uh-huh. No. Who were the colleagues that you were talking to? So may I ask you, do we must use that or we can omit that? What do you think, guys? Can omit it. Uh huh. Can you please read it without the using of that? Okay. Who were the colleagues you were talking to? Very good. Exactly. Does it change the meaning? No. No. So you see, guys, a little bit more understandable, right? A little bit. I know. I know. Freddie is still with a big question mark. Your form, not right? Really. Not really. What? Not really. Not really? Did you understand that? Yeah. Yeah? Are you sure? Show me what you got. <laughs> exactly. Show me what you got, man. Oh, you see, my right hand, Mr. Alexander de Jesus. He's the second teacher here. <laughs> I'm just teasing you guys. I'm just teasing. But very good. Yeah, guys, guys, feel free to ask if you do not understand anything, okay? Don't worry, that's what I'm here for. If you don't understand, we're going to invent. Don't worry about that, I'm just teasing you. All righty, guys, um, I want to do a speaking activity for you. And this is going to be individually ones. Um, okay, uh, I want you guys to think about, this is individual activity. And I will give you only five minutes to do it because I just want that you write or you think, I don't know, and uh, you can choose. Uh, and what I want you to do for me is to choose uh, an, an, a, a person, a person from the world of business that you can look up as an example of leadership. That's what I want you to think right now. A person from the world of business that you can look up as an example of leadership. I just want you to prepare a small presentation and then you're going to tell the class the things this person has done that inspires you, okay? It just- Come, come on. What, what Alexander? <laughs> come on. <laughs> Come on, what? I'm just kidding. Ah, you're just kidding. Okay, no, it's, okay. it's, uh -huh. it's like a, we are going to make a presentation. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. A presentation, a small presentation could be a paragraph. Okay. Pick one person of the business world that uh, is what you think is a good leader, right? And also tell us what which are the things that you consider that is helping you or that you have selected that is an example of, of leadership, okay? Any doubts about this activity? Oh my God, everybody's so concentrated. Yeah, or oh, guys, eh, I don't know if you know a lot of person about the business world, no? 
Not really? Okay, so let's put it in a different way, okay? Maybe, okay, I'm not gonna give you a, a specific a category. So let's do something. You have, to, you have to think about a famous person, a famous person. It could be for social, it could be for political, it could be for business uh, um, environment, doesn't matter. Or it could be uh, somebody really important in history, right? I don't know. You can pick anybody that has inspired you and that you consider that person an ex amazing example of leadership and you need to let us know mm. why. Okay, why do you think about that person? Which are the characteristics or the qualities that inspire you? Okay, it could be Mohandas Gandhi, it could be Jesus, it could, it could be anybody. Okay, all right, I will give you five minutes. Please work on your own. And then in five min more minutes, I will return it back to you. Okay, very good. All righty, guys. Let's meet in five minutes. Two more minutes, guys.
finish or no yet? Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, I will give Not you yet, two, a couple of minutes more. Okay, don't worry about that. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, time is over. I'll give you a couple of minutes more. Don't worry about that. If you finish, good. If you don't, don't worry. That's okay. Uh, say it, what, what you have, what you have. Don't worry about that. Okay, there you go. Hey, welcome back to the jungle. Alrighty, so let me share right now my screen. Don't worry, okay, guys? Okay, so let's move on. Let's put a bigger. Okay, I have your names here. Let's spin it. Who's going to be the lucky one? Ah, the tigers, no. Glenda, Glenda, are you still here with us? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, cool. Tell us, who did you pick? Um, As an example of leadership. And my example is Steve Jobs. Okay, Steve Jobs. Very good. Tell us why make you think he's a good example of leadership? What characteristics does he have that inspire you? I think that uh, he was a visionary uh, person. Mm -hmm. uh, he was persistent and constant with with your with uh, his dream. And, and and she was amazing <laughs> very good thank you there you go thank you so much for sharing steve jobs all right very good thank you glendy okay jessica now is your turn who did you pick jesse sorry teacher but i'm a little busy with my son Ah, okay, don't worry, that's okay. Continue okay. doing, that's okay. Let me, let me spin again, don't worry. Giovanni, lucky man. Okay, I chose Nelson Mandela. Mandela, all righty, mm -hmm. the, the president of South Africa. Yes. Why? Because he fought, he fought against racism, how do you say racism? Racism. Racism, racism. and he spent 27 years in prison. Yes. And then he was a president of South, South Africa. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. He has a great uh, qualities, right? He used to have a really great yes. qualities. Yes. That is one of the person that I, I admire as well. Very good. Thank you, Giovanni. Madeline, what about you, girl? I miss I choose the same Mandela okay now tell me for the yeah. same reason so you can you can say something else don't worry yeah yeah uh, well he left like my classmate said mm -hmm. uh, he was an important figure in, in different uh, for the person for the people because he defended uh, the right and 
also uh, he became the first black president in I think that it's very uh, amazing and um, incredible because in, in that uh, time was difficult maybe if he want to, to do something or that the people listen mm -hmm. uh, the things that he think and very good for me was a good person. Yes, it was an amazing man. Very yeah. good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Madeline. So you see, uh, Giovanni and Madeline is a, has a, the same coincidence, right? Very good. Thank you. All right. Let's move on. Oh, Giovanni already participated. Kenya, what about you, girl? I choose Abraham Lincoln. You chose because, Abraham Lincoln, okay. Uh, because uh, he was the first president of the United States that was, um, that has been remembered as mm -hmm. the great emancipator because mm -hmm. he worked to end the slavery in the United States. Exactly, uh, and that was the reason who, who, who was killed for it. Yeah, I know. Yes, I remember that. There is a really nice movie called South and North, which is basically based on on that part of the history you should, you should watch it yes sir what about martin luther king martin luther king jr or martin luther king martin luther king okay tell us what about martin luther king yes it was like it was like um it was the kind of person that has like a lot of movement of people mm -hmm. That um that he he like he was trying to get a um, success of ending legal segregation mm -hmm. in the United States. So actually he was killed too, right? Yes, he was killed too. Yes. Well, I think it was in the 60s, if I'm not mistaken. That was really hard that time, you know, because basically uh there were like a specific places where only the black people can go uh, a specific bosses and also if they are they were sharing like part of the bosses with the white guys basically they need to go uh, at the back part so it was really really hard those days yeah yeah Actually, but mm -hmm. most of the black people were slaves yes definitely it, it has been no easy during the whole history for the black guys but I really admire that race, you know, because they're really strong. They're really strong. They're really good in sports. They're really good singers. Oh my God. I really admire a lot of that people. And I have a really close friends who are really this color. You cannot imagine. They're really nice. And you know what I like? That they always have some time for dancing and singing. I love that. I love that you cannot imagine. I have a friend, her name is like um, Georgina Parkinson. And she lives in, uh, she's a black girl, but she lives in the, um, let's see. Yes, in one, in the Atlantic part of Costa Rica. And every time that she sees, that she sees me, she said, hey girl, how you doing? Like that, she's like that, you cannot imagine. Like, and that, inspire me a lot and sends a good vibration so i love her by heart that you cannot imagine and she's old she's already almost like 60 years old but she's a great girl i always love her by heart and every time that she's on the bus she starts singing For real? yeah she's been singing the whole trip <laughs> you cannot imagine. And you know what? I admire their voices. They have amazing voices. Yes, there you go. And the rhythm. I think the rhythm is on their blood. That's what I'm yeah, sure about. It yeah, it is. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing also, Freddie. Okay, let's double check who else. Selmita, it's your turn. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> What about you, my girl? Which one did you pick or who did you pick? 
Yes, who do you pick? Uh, uh, who is a person that is a good example for you as a great leadership? Well, not only leadership, uh -huh. but uh, I, uh, I wrote about the, the about Henry Port. Ah, Mr. Henry Port, yes. You know, it mm -hmm. was an enterprising, enterprising uh, man. Yes. Uh, uh, he was who create change pro change production production yes production car yes. production yes I also think. also that that uh, that man create uh, the UV eight model mm -hmm. in uh, in uh, heavy traffic also <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly you're right about yeah. that. Oh, that's cool. Well, thank you so much for sharing, Tomita. And one more guy here. No. Erwin. Mr. Erwin, we ended up with you, guy. Uh, your microphone is off. Teacher, for me, uh, uh -huh. I, uh, I, I, I will say the similar person, Martin, uh, Martin Luther King. Okay. In, for the United States, because in the United States at that moment, the last, the last, uh, in 1988, Martin Luther King was murdered. Mm -hmm. And in the first black man in the United States is Afro-American. Afro-American. Mm -hmm. Afro Africa or oh, African-American. Afro-American that worked for social justice in the United States, because in that moment, the person, um, Afro-Americans, for many people, white people, don't see, don't, don't, don't show, no, don't they, watch it, don't, don't watch, no, didn't watch. Didn't, didn't watch, let. Yeah, mm -hmm. didn't let the uh, uh, African-American people don't have, Ameri uh, don't have person. Mm -hmm. didn't, didn't, didn't be a person in that moment. Mm -hmm. okay. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a history so difficult for that kind of people. Yes, Because it is. for Jesus, all the person were the similar, mm -hmm. the same. Okay? It's so difficult in that moment in the United States. Yes, it is. It is in continue. Yes, yes it continue. It continue mm -hmm. but, but less. Less. Less yes. than those days. You're right about but, that. Yes, and the, the similar is we are Latin, Latin, mm -hmm. Latin, Latin person. We have a we have a different United States too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the, the yeah. American people are so different that we can so we can see in the in the real in the world. Yes, you're right about that. Thank you so much for sharing, Erwin. Okay, guys, I know that well, I didn't ask some of you because of the time, but let me ask you something. Um. I just want to know, I think after the class, um, you were like, the teacher, I think it was asking you if you have any question, right? Or was pick one of you to have a specific one-on-one session? Is that okay? Is, is that right? Yeah? Could you please explain to me more about it? How was it, Katya? One-on-one session. ¿Se recuerdan one-on-one session? La sesión de uno a uno con el teacher, yeah? Yes, yeah. Uh, well, well, the, the, uh, the uh -huh. lighter, I'm the sorry, less, the I get course. about issues about the internet. I can understand all the, the you say. Ah, okay, okay. No, don't worry, Katy. Yeah, Fernando, you were you were explaining. Yes, uh, every every course, uh -huh. when, uh, you you uh, you have to 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 have a, a one session one 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 with. Uh, each of us ah, one, one per day one per day okay depends of the order of the list i remember uh-huh depends of the order of the list let me know which is going to be the first victim sorry <laughs> the first participant i'm just teasing ah i know who's going to be the lucky man today <laughs> let's see if he's still here you know what 
that man disappear. No way. Okay, who is going to be the second one on the list? <laughs> yes, Giovanni, you're going to be the lucky man today. Okay, okay, guys, so it's time to go. Don't worry, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to send it to you, extra information for who or that. Yeah, so it could be very clear. But also, guys, we're going to retake that topic tomorrow, okay? And I will give you more examples. So that topic is going to be clear for you, okay? So I'm going to stay with Giovanni today, and then I will pick somebody else tomorrow, okay? Good night. Good night. Hugs and kisses. Good Have night. a pleasant night and take care. Thank you, Tisha. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, Judy. Good night, Kathy. <laughs> and Jesse as well. Don't worry, Giovanni. I'm not going to kill you. Don't worry about that. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> Kathy, please disconnect if you don't mind. And also, Kathy, I'm just waiting. Okay, very good. So we're one on one. Estamos eh, solitos. Okay, let's speak in Spanish. Okay, don't worry about it. I, I, okay. I think it makes you feel comfortable, right? Te sientes más a gusto. Yes, yes, but it's uh, it's better for me. If I oh, practice. yes, of, mm -hmm. of course. Whatever makes you feel comfortable, that's good for okay. me. Tell me, Giovanni, do you have any doubts about uh, topics that we have seen? Mm, no, uh, I don't have doubts. Maybe I I would like if you give me some tips. Uh -huh. to improve my listening comprehension because okay. I can understand what to say, but uh -huh. I have problem with other na natives, native uh -huh. people. Yes. Uh -huh. oh. I, so I can understand to other, other persons. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, and you want, you know what? That is perfectly fine because uh, sometimes when it's American and British, we can understand them. However, when we face, for example, Asian people, mm -hmm. Indian people, or even though um, black people, sometimes they have their specific accent, right? Mm -hmm. They do not open the mouths or, or they, the pronunciation is like kind of weird or maybe they speak fast because for example, Indian people, their nature ways that they speak past their language, right? So they're trying to do exactly the same in English and we're like, well, don't worry. What I'm gonna do, we have a special link. I will send it to you directly, that link. That link, you can put it in your computer, Giovanni. And also that it will help you because it will give you a lot of listening practice exercises who basically will also give you, sometimes it will give you in the dialogue about what they're saying, but sometimes you will have only just the listening part. And right after that, it will give you like, um, like a specific questions or what you have heard it's related to different topics, business, uh, hotels, reservations, and anything, anything. So, and that is a specific level. We have beginners, intermediate, and we have an advanced. So you will be able to practice because you it will be like a multiple choices, like some examples that you do in the platform, and you will be able to, to double check the scores that you got after that. And sometimes you can get a good score, but sometimes you don't and you have to redo it. So you will be able to redo it as many times as you wanted to. So you can get used to it. And at the same time, you can get the score that you want, okay? So I will send okay. it to you directly, the link, so that, that part you will improve, okay? May, okay. May, I, may I ask you, do you have any feedback for me? 
Uh, only I yes. have a doubt. You have a in doubt, the, go ahead. In the previous modules, uh, the teachers check the attendance at the beginning, at the middle, and oh. the, at the end of the class. I don't know if that changed. No, I do oh, it, oh. but oh, I do not. Do yeah, I do it every day, but I do not say it. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, but for example, when I welcome everybody, I said, hey, we have Giovanni here. Or, hey, we have Francisco. Do you remember that I say that? Oh, okay. okay, that is my way to double check and to welcome the guys. But, ah, but, okay. but, but I, I am double checking who's coming and who's not coming. And then I check my attendance later on. Okay, yeah, there's nothing more. I, you I sure? like the way, yes, I like the way you, you teach. Yes. Oh, well, I do really appreciate it. I will do my best to continue and also to, to help you improve, okay? Okay, thanks oh, for your help. No, and thank you so much for taking extra minutes. I know that you're tired and maybe you're sleepy, yes. right? Yes, yes, I can see in your eyes. But, but thank you so much. And we will continue in the next class together, okay? Okay. All right, thanks, teacher. Uh, Jesus. Have an amazing good, night. Good night, teacher. Good night, bye-bye.